Question 6. What are the potential risks associated with the use of financial leverage in SOC CTF? SOC CTF, the Direxin Daily Semiconductor Bear 3X Shares ETF, utilizes financial leverage to achieve its target of minus three times the daily inverse return of the IC Semiconductor Sector Index. While this leverage offers the potential for amplified gains in a bearish market, it also comes with inherent risks that investors should carefully consider. Here's a breakdown of the key risks associated with SOX's leverage. 1. Amplified Losses Inverse Relationship SOXS is designed to profit from a decline in the semiconductor sector. However, the 3x leverage factor magnifies not just gains, but also losses. If the index unexpectedly rises, SOXS will experience amplified losses that can significantly erode your investment capital. 2. Volatility Decay Imperfect daily tracking, due to daily rebalancing and the nature of leveraged inverse ETFs, SOXS might not perfectly capture the targeted dash 3x inverse return of the index, especially during periods of high volatility. This can lead to a gradual erosion of returns over extended holding periods, even in a declining market. 3. Fees and Expenses Management Costs SOXS, like other ETFs, has fees associated with managing the complex financial instruments it utilizes, swaps, futures contracts. These fees can eat into returns over time, and their impact becomes more significant when the ETF underperforms due to leverage or volatility decay. 4. Counterparty Risk Swap agreements, SOXS likely relies on swap agreements with one or more counterparties to achieve its leverage. There's a risk that the counterparty could default on its obligations, potentially causing losses for SOXS investors. 5. Short-Term Focus Daily Reset, the 3x leverage of SOXS resets daily. This means it's designed for short-term bets on the direction of the semiconductor sector. Holding SOXS for extended periods can magnify the risks mentioned above and deviate from the expected dash 3x inverse return due to compounding effects. 6. Unexpected Market Movements Black Swan Events Leveraged ETFs like SOXS are vulnerable to sudden and unforeseen market events, black swan events, that cause sharp movements against the expected direction. This can lead to significant losses that are amplified by the leverage factor. 7. Lack of Diversification Sector Focus SOXS focuses on the semiconductor sector. This lack of diversification exposes you to the specific risks associated with that particular industry. A downturn in the semiconductor sector can lead to significant losses in SOXS, even if the broader market performs well. Question 7. How can unexpected market movements affect SOX ETF? SOX ETF, the Direxin Daily Semiconductor Bear 3X Shares ETF, is particularly vulnerable to unexpected market movements due to its leveraged inverse structure. Here's a breakdown of how unforeseen events can significantly impact SOXS. 1. Amplified losses and unexpected upward movements. Core Function SOXS aims to profit from a decline in the semiconductor sector, delivering a dash 3x daily return of the inverse performance of the IC Semiconductor Sector Index. Unexpected Rally If the semiconductor sector unexpectedly surges due to positive news, earnings reports, or broader market trends, SOXS will experience magnified losses. The 3x leverage factor amplifies the upward movement of the index, translating into significant declines in the value of SOXS. Example, imagine a positive surprise announcement that boosts the semiconductor sector by 2% in a day. SOXS, targeting a dash 3x inverse return, would aim for a decline of 6%. However, due to unexpected events and leverage, the actual decline could be even sharper, causing substantial losses for investors. 
2. Volatility Spike and Decay Normal volatility, SOXS is designed to handle some level of daily volatility in the semiconductor sector. Sudden volatility spike, unexpected events can trigger sharp increases in volatility, causing the price of the index and SOXS to fluctuate rapidly. This can disrupt SOX's daily rebalancing mechanism, leading to tracking errors and potentially missing out on capturing the full inverse return during the initial decline. Oh, further volatility, even if the market corrects later, can exacerbate volatility decay. As explained previously, volatility decay refers to the tendency of leveraged inverse ETFs to underperform their targeted inverse return over extended periods due to compounding effects of rebalancing errors. 3. Liquidity Issues During Market Stress Normal Market Conditions SOXS typically trades with ample liquidity, meaning investors can easily buy and sell shares. Unexpected events, during periods of high market stress or panic selling triggered by unforeseen events, the liquidity of SOXS could be impacted. This can make it difficult to enter or exit positions at desired prices, potentially amplifying losses if you need to sell quickly. 4. Counterparty Risk Amplification Swap agreements, SOXS likely uses swap agreements with one or more counterparties to achieve its leverage. Unexpected defaults, if a counterparty experiences financial difficulty due to unexpected market events, they might default on their obligations within the swap agreement. This could cause losses for SOXS and its investors. Managing these risks Understanding leverage Investors should be aware of the inherent risks associated with leverage before using SOXS. It magnifies both gains and losses. Short-term use, SOXS is designed for short-term bets on the semiconductor sector's direction. Unexpected events are more likely to occur over longer periods. Portfolio diversification, don't rely solely on SOXS. Diversify your portfolio with other assets to mitigate the risks associated with a single sector and unexpected market movements. Monitoring market news, stay informed about major news events and potential catalysts that could significantly impact the semiconductor sector. Question 8. How does the liquidity of SOX ETF compare to the underlying holdings? The liquidity of SOX ETF and the underlying holdings, companies within the IC Semiconductor Sector Index, can differ significantly. Here's a breakdown of the key points. SOX ETF liquidity Generally liquid, SOXS, being an exchange-traded fund, typically trades with good liquidity. This means investors can easily buy and sell shares on an exchange throughout the trading day at prevailing market prices. Order book depth, the bid-ask spread, difference between the highest price a buyer is willing to pay and the lowest price a seller is willing to accept, for SOXS is usually tight, indicating active trading and readily available shares. Secondary market, since SOXS is an ETF, its liquidity ultimately relies on the liquidity of the underlying holdings in the index it tracks. However, authorized participants who create and redeem SOXS units help ensure a secondary market for the ETF itself, independent of the liquidity of each individual stock. Underlying Holdings Liquidity Varied Liquidity The liquidity of the companies within the IC Semiconductor Sector Index can vary considerably. Large-cap semiconductor companies like NVIDIA, NVDA, or Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, are generally highly liquid, with tight bid-ask spreads and high daily trading volume. Mid-cap and small-cap considerations Mid-cap and small-cap companies within the index might have lower liquidity. These stocks might have wider bid-ask spreads and lower daily trading volume, making it potentially more difficult to enter or exit positions quickly at desired prices. Liquidity Impact on SOXS Normal Conditions In normal market conditions, the good liquidity of SOXS allows investors to easily enter and exit positions, 
even if the underlying holdings have some variation in liquidity. Market stress. During periods of high market stress or panic selling, the liquidity of both SOXS and the underlying holdings can be impacted. It might become more challenging to buy or sell SOXS at desired prices, especially if the underlying holdings experience significant drops in liquidity. Question 9. What is the counterparty risk associated with the financial instruments used by SOX ETF? SOX ETF, the Direxin Daily Semiconductor Bear 3X Shares ETF, utilizes financial instruments to achieve its leveraged inverse return objective. This introduces an element of counterparty risk, which refers to the potential for losses if the counterparty in a financial agreement fails to meet its obligations. Here's a breakdown of the counterparty risk associated with SOXS. Financial instruments used by SOXS. Swaps, SOXS likely relies on swap agreements with one or more counterparties. These swaps act like contracts where SOXS agrees to pay the daily return of the IC Semiconductor Sector Index, the benchmark, in exchange for a return based on the desired leverage, 3x inverse. Potential use of futures contracts, while less common, SOXS might also utilize futures contracts to gain leveraged exposure to the semiconductor sector. However, these wouldn't directly involve a counterparty risk like swaps do. Understanding Counterparty Risk in SOXS Swap Counterparty Default The primary concern lies with the counterparty to the swap agreements. If the counterparty experiences financial difficulty and defaults on its obligations, SOXS could face losses. Impact on SOX's ability to meet obligations a default by the counterparty could disrupt SOX's ability to meet its own obligations to its investors. The ETF might struggle to obtain the necessary returns to achieve its targeted Dash 3x inverse leverage. Creditworthiness of counterparties, Direxin, the ETF provider, likely conducts due diligence to ensure the creditworthiness of its counterparties. However, there's always a chance of unforeseen circumstances leading to a default. Mitigating Counterparty Risk Limited Transparency Unfortunately, details about the specific counterparties involved in SOX's swaps are not publicly disclosed. Investors cannot directly assess the creditworthiness of these counterparties. Diversification of Counterparties it's possible that Direxin utilizes multiple counterparties for its swap agreements. This can help spread the risk of default. Regulatory requirements. Financial regulations might impose certain capital adequacy requirements on swap counterparties, offering some level of protection. Alternatives and considerations. Physically replicated inverse ETFs. Some inverse ETFs directly hold the underlying assets in an inverse proportion, eliminating counterparty risk associated with swaps. However, these might not offer the same level of leverage as SOXS. Understanding your risk tolerance, counterparty risk is an inherent factor when using leveraged ETFs like SOXS. Investors should carefully consider their risk tolerance before using such instruments. Question 10. What happens to the value of SOX ETF if the underlying index experiences a prolonged period of stagnation? If the IC Semiconductor Sector Index, the benchmark SOXS tracks inversely, experiences a prolonged period of stagnation, minimal price movement, both up and down, the value of SOX ETF can be negatively impacted due to a few reasons. 1. Fees and Expenses SOXS, like any ETF, incurs fees associated with managing the complex financial instruments it utilizes, swaps, futures contracts. These fees include management fees and administrative expenses. Impact on stagnant market In a stagnant market, where the underlying index isn't experiencing significant gains or losses, the expense ratio of SOXS can eat into its returns more noticeably. O oh, example, imagine the expense ratio of SOXS is 1% annually. 
If the index remains perfectly flat for a year, SOXS would lose 1% of its value due solely to fees, even though it's not directly aiming for a positive return in a stagnant market. 2. Imperfect Daily Rebalancing SOXS relies on daily rebalancing to maintain its targeted leverage ratio of 3x the daily return of the index. Tracking errors in stagnant market during periods of minimal price movements, the daily rebalancing process might introduce minor tracking errors. These errors can cause SOXS to deviate slightly from its intended 3x inverse return, even if the index remains perfectly flat. 3. Potential for erosion over time. The combined effect of fees and minor tracking errors can lead to a gradual erosion of SOX's value over extended periods of stagnation in the underlying index. However, it's important to consider. Limited downside in stagnant market, while SOXS might experience some value erosion, it also avoids significant losses in a stagnant market unlike a non-leveraged inverse ETF that might see its value slowly increase as the expense ratio chips away at returns. Potential opportunity cost, a stagnant market can also represent a missed opportunity for investors hoping to profit from a significant decline in the semiconductor sector. SOXS wouldn't deliver the anticipated gains in such a scenario.